White Plains Robotics team, and I'm going to be asking them a couple of questions today. Um, so, what do you guys do at robotics? We build robots. We, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. We build yeah. robots, we get the build machine. Guys, we talk. Team building skills, you know. There is garments. some yelling involved sometimes. Yeah. Um, um so, stroke. people don't really know much about what they, what you guys do at tournaments, so what do you guys actually do at tournaments? Like, what does the robot do? It's like basketball for robots. We sit in a corner and we shoot. If you get it in like the top of the goal, then it's like a three-pointer like you would get in basketball. And if you get it in the bottom, it's kind of like a free throw. Okay. And I see that there's different colored balls, basically. But um, what do the different colors mean? The green ones are worth um, one point and then two points. It's one point in the bottom for the green, and it's three in the bottom for orange. And in, in the top, it's five for a green and ten for an orange. Okay. Um, how many tournaments have y'all participated in? Six. six. As a I whole, think. six. Mm -hmm. uh, have you won any? If so, how many? Of those six, I've won two. Mm -hmm. And well, me and her have won two. And we've been in the finals four times. Um, there's different awards, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all seem to have won lots of those. Um, what are the different kinds of awards you can get? Well, there's tournament champion, which means you and your alliance won the entire tournament, and so you get the tournament champion award. There's the excellence award, which means you basically have the best overall robot, you have the best attitude all day, and... The best design. Yeah, best design. Um, that's the big award. That one qualifies you for state. Tournament champions qualifies you for state. And then the design award, which is based on your the design of your robot, the notebook, and then um, your interview, that also qualifies you for state. And then the judges award is one underneath the design award, and that one does not qualify you for state. Okay. And y'all have different teams, and I know y'all have made a girls team, and it's the first girls team that White Plains has had? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And y'all have only competed in how many? One what, tournament. One? How did y'all do in that one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since it was, a, it was our first tournament, it was a bunch of trial and error with, you know, pairing up with different alliances. And so I think at our next tournament that we attend, we'll probably do a lot better. And our robot's different. Instead of it shooting, there's a bonus that you get if you can lift a robot. So if you just lift it a little bit, like just barely off the ground, it's how many points? 50. 25, 25 just for the, like, just lifting it off the ground. If you can lift it above the wall that's on the side, then you get 50 extra points. So that's what our robot's mainly for. So it's really trial and error because you don't really see many lifting robots. So just trying to figure that one out. Hi, I'm Greg Curry, and I'm here with the robotics team. And this is Alexis Alvarez, and where she's going to explain to what, what they do in robotics. So what is the game this year? The game this year is called Vex Nothing But Net, and it is basically basketball for robots. Okay, so I see that we have two, we have blocks and, uh, on this plane table. Mm -hmm. What do they mean? Like, um, this is the Red Alliance, so um, normally we'll have one robot in red, or um, you can be blue, it doesn't matter, and we'll be paired with another team, um, pro most likely from another school. Occasionally we'll be paired with our own teams from White Plains. But, um, Red shoots in the red goal, and then blue shoots in the blue. And you can be either or throughout the day. What, like how, when you, when you, shoot, when you shoot in the goal, how much, how many points does it count? Um, for the green balls, um, a low goal, it's the gray bar, is worth one point. And then a high goal with the green ball is worth five. And then the orange balls are worth um, double. So in the low goal, it'll be worth two points. And in the high goal, it'll be worth 10. And we see we have two robots on this plane field right now. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do with them right now? Um, this is 9225B's robot. And then this is 9225C, which is a new addition to the White Plains Robotics. This is the all-girls team, hence the rhinestone. Um, the 9225B robot is built to shoot goals. And then our robot is built to lift other robots for a 50 point bonus. All right. So we're going to lift 9225 these robot. Please, we do that now? Yes. Now I'm here with Jared Isabel, who we're going to talk about some more robotic terms. Now, what is autonomous? Basically, the autonomous period is the first, first 15 seconds of every match. What you do 
you can get four preloads of four balls, and uh, you build a program using the programming that we have, and the robot will basically do the work for you. And you can get it to either shoot balls into the goal or to push balls, however you want. But that you can score however many points, but whoever scores the most points gets an extra ten points added at the end of the match. Now, what is driver control? Uh, driver control is basically when you have control of the robot, whereas Thomas is you have no control over it. Uh, and it's basically just head to head uh, competition and you score as many as you want. Basically, the same as autonomous. So, yeah. Thank you.